guys, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about The Unbound by Victoria Schwab. This is the second book in the Archive series, and if you don't know anything about The Archive, it centers around this girl named Kenzie Bishop, and she is what you call a keeper. So in this world, there is this place called The Archive, where they keep bodies on the shelves, kind of like you would books in a library. And these bodies are called histories and sometimes they just decide they want to get up and stretch a little and sometimes they head for the outer which is where everyone else lives and Mackenzie's job is to keep them from going into the outer. So the archive centered a lot around her and setting up the world so if you haven't read the archive a lot of this is probably going to be spoilers so for one go read the archive it's amazing um, and two, you probably don't want to watch the rest of this video. Once you actually do uh, read the archive and the Unbound, come back and we can share in the fun because I absolutely adored this book. Now the Unbound starts a couple weeks after the archive ends and Mackenzie's kind of dealing with the after effects of everything that happened in the archive. It's the end of the summer and she's starting school so there's a whole new cast of characters. At the same time she's also dealing with everything that happened with Owen and she's starting to develop this kind of post-traumatic stress disorder type thing where she's having these hallucinations and she's really starting to doubt who she is and it's really starting to impact her personal life, her relationship with her family, and as well as her relationship with the archive. And because of all of this, she's kind of losing her identity and that's one of the major themes of The Unbound is identity because the, the main arc is pretty much Mackenzie trying to figure out who she is and trying to fight through all of these misgivings and all of the things that are key holding her back. Um, main one being everything that happened with Owen. I really enjoyed how Schwab, even though these, the world has expanded quite a bit, she kept it quite insular as far as the main problem. Because the archive, it was very kind of grandiose. I don't, that's probably not the word I'm looking for. Big picture, save the world, save the archive type thing. Uh, but at the same time, we had a very small cast of characters. We only really know like Mackenzie's family and even then it was kind of not quite as much as we do in the Unbound and we only knew Wes and Rollin. And now we have like Cash, who was also instrumental in Mackenzie finding her identity. I kind of like how Schwab like threw in that little little love triangle. It wasn't really a love triangle but it was kind of a love triangle and I liked how it was used in a way that pushed the story forward. Like it really made Mackenzie realize that what she wanted was Wes. She didn't want the normal cash. She wanted Wes. Speaking of Wes, I love Wes. Just gonna put that out there. Um, He's, I just love him. I like how Schwab handled their relationship. It was part of the story and she gave just enough for you to feel like you had enough of their little moment, but not too much that it felt like a romance, which really kind of gets to me. So I was very, very happy. And I feel like in the end, it made it much more worth it to see them actually be together. Cause otherwise it kind of feels like yeah, they're together, but they were kind of together the whole thing and it's not just like this moment and she realizes who she is and that she wants to be with Wes and that he's worth it. All the struggles and pain, he's worth it. And I absolutely adored that aspect. I thought it was so cute. Now, as the world is getting bigger, they've introduced a whole kind of set of rules to the archive which I thought were really cool. I kind of wish they would have been explored more in The Unbound. We only really started to get a taste of the crew and which I'm really excited. Hopefully if there's a third book, fingers crossed, that like Mac and Wes will be in crew together and that will be the thing of the third book because I really want to know more about the archive. I want to know more about this director Hale 
who just kind of came out of nowhere at the end, kind of, sort of. And I kind of want to know about the bureaucracy of the archive and like the different branches. I just find it so fascinating. And if there's not a book three, I'm going to have to start writing fan fiction because I just, I just love this world and I want to explore it more and know like the ins and outs of it. The last thing I want to mention, because he deserves a mention, is Roland is just as amazing as ever. I love, love Roland. Of course he's a librarian so that holds a special place in my heart and he was just there for Mac and really really helped her through this whole ordeal and he was the only one that really believed in her probably all the way through except for maybe Wes and I just uh love Roland. I was at this event that Victoria Schwab was at a, on a panel of all these uh, young adult authors and she mentioned that Roland was supposed to be in like a scene and I don't think I can imagine the books with Roland only being a minor minor character because he's just such a big part of the archive for me. I really I just love his character so thank you Victoria Schwab for keeping Roland in because I I needed a little bit of David Tennant in my archive. I think that's about what I have to say about The Unbound. Um, I absolutely loved it, if you can't tell, and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Simple as that. So please go read The Archive and The Unbound, and I will be seeing you guys later. Bye!